Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 3 practice test for 10 ready or whatever. Subpart 3, which means you can use a calculator, and in this case you will definitely need it. Or I would suggest you use it anyway, whatever. Uh, so question number 28 says the functions f of x equals 3 raised to the quantity 2x plus 1 minus 4 and g sub x equals e raised to the power of 2.2x intersect at the point j, k. Just kidding. Give the values of both j and k to two decimal points. So I guess it would be like j.us and k.id. I don't know. Write your answer in space provided your answer document. Now when I make these uh, presentations, I always try to make sure that I'm being realistic about explanations. I thought about this question, and we're going to solve it graphically. That's why I said it's important to have your calculator. Could you do this algebraically? Uh, yeah, probably, um, but in the length of time that you're going to be given to do on the 10 ready test, there's no, uh, unless you're just, you're right there in the moment and you really grasp all this, it seems unlikely that the majority of people are going to be using that. So I'm just going to show it to you graphically because the idea of an intersection is simply just um, uh, systems of equations. So here we go. Bring up the old handy dandy. The TI-84. Clear. All right, so let's hit Y equals and three. The thing I hate about uh, my own work with this calculator is that I always forget to click out when I'm here. So I'd end up writing like pretty much everything, all of it in the ex as an exponent, which is not right. So make sure that you click out so you don't drive yourself nuts. I do that all the time in math and otherwise, but that's neither here nor there. So 2.2x. And I'm just going to graph it and see if I can get a look at where that intersection point might be. My window is probably wrong for this. Yeah, see it's like right in here. So I'll just adjust my window a little bit to make everything positive. It'll give me a better look at things. go it's right in here so I might even might even change it again you could zoom in too I just tend to think that it makes a lot of sense for me anyway to go ahead and set it up so that I can control what zooms and where so there's our point of intersection so I'm going to go in and hit second trace that'd be here and here I just hit trace instead of second trace make sure you hit second and then I'm going to look for their point of intersection. It'll ask me about the first curve, and I just want to make sure that I can sort of see what's going on. I might be out of the set already. There I am. It's a little spider-like thing. Just hit enter once you get your curve. The second curve, is this it? Basically, they sometimes you'll have many curves on the same graph or many lines on the same graph, and they'll still call it a curve. Um, so they just want to know that that's the spe specific one you're talking about. They're trying to accurately answer your question. And then they want you to guess, so pick basically where you think they intersect. Because if you have something like a straight line and a sine function, they're going to intersect a lot. I mean, if they're intersecting at all, most likely. Sometimes. Anyway, whatever. You know what I mean. So I get my final answer, and they want my x and y to two decimal points for whatever reason. So 0.32 and 2.00, and you could probably just leave it as 2 and they'd be okay with it. So that's it. What do you learn from this problem? It's not that the state, who makes the, the state organization who makes these tests hates you. Don't think that. Um, they probably don't even know you, so whatever. Uh, but what you really learn is that sometimes you have to give up, uh, uh, you have to make sacrifices. You don't have to give up anything. You have to make sacrifices for time. It might be beautiful to sit there and work this out and try to do limits and uh, other such things, but you're on a time test. So sometimes you just have to go in, use the calculator as given. Um, if it's on computer, they probably have a graphing calculator and it may be good and it may be terrible. If not, hopefully you have one of your own that you can use like this TI-84 um, and it should be able to get you to the answer. So there you go. Um, that's it. This is the last one. Question number 28 from the Integrated Math 3 Practice Test for 10 Ready. Thanks.